A recent list by the company Wall Street 24-7 calls Cock County the worst place in Tennessee to live. The folks who call it home would certainly disagree. They point to the beauty, the people, and the history. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot shows us one part of the latter, Cock County's moonshine heritage. Cock County has always been the moonshine capital of the world. The moonshine capital. I mean, it's just been a part of the heritage here forever and ever. For decades. Back in the day, all these back roads and stuff, all the hollers, every hillside, there was somebody making moonshine back in these woods. Including the world-renowned moonshiner Popcorn Sutton. Popcorn made moonshine famous. He made moonshine and advertised it even though it was illegal. People didn't talk about it. It was not something they did. Finally, in 2009, a federal judge sentenced Popcorn Sutton to two years in prison for illegally distilling spirits. And law enforcement found Sutton dead at his home. Instead, Popcorn Sutton died by suicide, only growing his legend. His legacy lives on through the people he worked with, like J.B. Rader. Popcorn said that if anybody's ever going to make my liquor, it'll be J.B. Raider works with Kelly Williamson at the Adventure Distilling Company. Well, our steel is just like what it's been ran in the woods. We're running the same thing. They know, regardless of internet lists, Cock County is a great place to live. You're talking about a heritage here of not only moonshine, but people that look out for one another and take care of one another. And so do his customers, who came all the way from Texas. Kicking back with a jar of moonshine, Cock County is pretty great then, right? I would say tops, yes, sir. In Cock County, I'm Vinay Simlot.